fair with refugees because refugees are welcome in Ireland and people who need our protection should get it. Ireland has seen a 547% increase in migrant applications from 2021 and 2022's figures. A 547% increase in one year, and it doesn't look like it's slowing down. That means Ireland's politicians were able to access a 9.88 billion euro fund set up specifically to relocate people claiming refugee or asylum status. Everyone who was in that car park, in that migrant centre, they're not Ukrainians, they're not with, with, with their women and children from Ukraine. Which is what people have been told. Where's all the women and children? Why is it all men that have suddenly arrived in our village? You should be ashamed of yourself doing this. You're going to destroy this village. No women and children at all. Because I'd like to know why I live here. I want to know where you came from and why you are here. Yeah, where are you, where are you coming from? Georgia. From Georgia. And what's going on in Georgia? Yeah, what is your problem? You've arrived here at the refugee center here. Yes. Are you are you Ukraine? Yeah. Yes, are you? Are you Ukrainian? Yes. Definitely. Okay. Ukrainian. And you flew in from uh, uh, from Ukraine. From Ukraine. Yes, okay. Dennis. From Dennis. Okay. Dennis. Yeah. Yes. If you don't mind me saying so, you don't look like you're from Ukraine. Uh, no. So uh, we just heard reports that there are people coming from um, Middle East, Africa, yeah, or whatever who aren't Ukrainians who are coming in through this refugee center. And we were told as Irish citizens that it's that it's women and children, you know. So uh, how do you feel about that? Yeah, and you're a Ukrainian citizen. And were you not asked to stay and fight for for Ukraine? No. Yes, we are uh, sixty years old. You're sixty years yeah, old. We are old. Oh, you're 60, are you? Yeah, and you're 60 as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this okay. man, yeah, yeah, how are you? Nice to meet you. Yeah, so. And this man here is 60 as well. Another post of man getting dropped off the body morn. I was just wondering, what publication are you from? The Irish Times. The Irish Times. Why do you interview the leftists, but not with the concerned citizens? Why do you interview them, but not us? I'm here doing just my job. Oh, you're, you're not doing your job if you're only getting one side. And I think people have a right to be concerned about any efforts by the state uh, to criminalise people who peacefully express their view. There are serious issues of human rights at stake here. And also in the context of proposed hate crime and hate offences legislation, we have to watch very carefully the extent to which the state might seek to encroach on what were previously regarded as basic human rights. So... The obligation is on people to remove themselves from the state, and many people do. Uh, it was just intimidating the staff, making sexually vexed for us at the two girls that were walking here and banging on the window. It's horrible. It was horrible, yeah. yeah. It's actually quite frightening. Like, afraid to go for your lunch. They would have a new, a new it's thing. It's a new team because a lot of hostels have opened up um, along Dorset Street, and I think they're opening a bit more, so they're all just drinking out on the street now. Yeah, we'll be in a team, yeah. I would have never even thought of that before. But it is scary because now I'm nervous even let my daughter, who's 11, walk around. Yeah. Which is bad. Yeah, you, you don't want that. You don't want. You don't, don't want that. Like thinking, oh, she going to a friend's house, shop centre. Is she okay when she walks out? That's what shop centre. I'm more nervous than my daughter. That's a fact. She's 23. I'm nervous now. I don't like her. But there was an incident here ages ago where a girl was kind of full of pressure and grabbed her and kind of and she walked up and I'd said to my daughter when I saw it online, I said it's scary how she just walked off and took no notice. Uh, yeah, I've already got him. I fucking got him. Yeah, I was attacked last year. You were? I was, yeah, in town. But that case is still going on. Like, I was bad left in hospital and all that and the night that he attacked me and him 
Is he in jail? No. 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 Just friend, random, friend. random attack. For no reason, no reason at all. And I'd still be wary. Like, I'm going into town tonight and I'm leaving anxiety through the roof thinking about going into town tonight. Please tell me what you're going to do about the people sleeping on the streets of Ireland. Yeah, yeah. You're building houses to flood the country with refugees. That's more than welcome into Ireland. More than welcome. But don't leave your own on the streets dying, for God's sake. Thank do something for that, them. Sir. We're not here to meet the homeless people, no. You're an absolute disgrace to this country, do you know that? A disgrace to this country. You're no know, teacher telling the Irish person. I'm sorry, we're not allowed to talk to truth, no? Thank you very much. We're not allowed to talk to truth in this country. He's a disgrace. You're not a teacher in this country. You're an absolute disgrace, my man. Eleven thousand Irish homeless we have in this country. Eleven thousand Irish homeless. He's bringing in eighty thousand foreigners, unvetted. Overnight, literally overnight, they dropped him in on a Tuesday. People were afraid on Thursday because that's how aggressive these people are. They're not. They're not coming in here to be nice. They're literally grabbing you on the street. If they look at you and they like you, they're having you, and that's just their attitude. Do you know what I mean? They're scared, Tommy. They're not only scared, they're petrified for their children, but they're not only petrified for their daughters. Look at the rapes on young boys here now. We have 83,000 disabled children in our country who can't get services. This is for the people who still think this refugee crisis is organic. That it's not planned. Roderick O'Gorman in 2021 uses his Twitter feed to put out an appeal for people to come to his country, telling them they'll get the key to their own front door within four months. The five languages he translates his posts into, Albanian, Arabic, Somali, Urdu and Georgian. Now here is a list of 48 different countries that migrants have claimed refugee status from 12 months after his posts. If we look at just the top nine, seven of the top nine countries, if you look at the countries he put out in, seven out of the nine are the languages that he appealed in. The, this result and this refugee crisis is a direct result of him and the, the Irish government appealing for people to come to their country. Roger Gagarman put out a little leaflet inviting all these people over here and offered them houses within four months considering we have a housing list um, where there's people waiting for 12 years but yet our government are coming in and they're throwing all these people like you get people landing on a plane on Tuesdays and by Friday they're being housed they're getting medical cards they're getting doled they're getting everything All that money that the government's putting into them could be putting into our own homeless people yeah. and there's a lot of homeless people that's on the streets we're dying I know 35 Irish people died last year from homelessness. No issue with one state. You look after your own people first and try and help with, their, with the homeless crisis that we have as well. Yes. And then everybody else coming here. Our schools are oversubscribed, the hospitals are oversubscribed, doctors, like, it's just, it's not feasible. We're not equipped to look after ourselves in this country. We have 11,666 homeless people in this country. The house was taken off you when your parents died and they didn't have you on the rent, was that? And you were just told to leave? Shame on them. Ireland has had homeless for the last 40 years and they were all Irish. Now suddenly there's houses and accommodation being provided for everybody that isn't Irish. Last week there was a 34 year old homeless fella died on the street. Like, do you know, and well, he was homeless for I don't know many years, but yet they're putting these people up. Like, it's just, it just doesn't make sense. Like, my son has special needs. So yeah. we have a, a summer camp every year. So we were asking one of the organization, government organisations for some money. Yeah. And um, now this is a really good summer camp. Um, special needs children absolutely love it. It's two days a week for three weeks. And she said, no, I don't think I can give you any money this year. And I said, well, is there any way at all we could get some money? And she said, oh, yeah. Have you got any Ukraines in your special needs summer camp? Mm. And therefore, if you have, we'll give you loads of money. To Italia. Yeah. And then when you was in Italy, would you, would, you, would you be safe in Italy? Yeah. You were safe in Italy, yeah. Where are you from, brother? Back uh, from the, uh, yeah. West Africa. To to yeah, Togo. Yes. Okay. Where are you from, brother? Uh, Togo. Togo. Oh, Togo, yeah. Egypt. 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 Oh, okay. Oh. No, Somalia. Yeah. So you went to England and yeah. then come to Ireland. Yeah. You was in other safe countries. Yeah. So your target wasn't safety, your target was to come to Ireland.